Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guy. Today's beer is a beer from the Lost Abbey. There you go. It's the Devotion Ale. Wow, 6.25% ABV. They're very critical with their ABV. It's a cork bottle. I don't want to tip it too much. It's a bit of a spicy one, this one. Let's get it open. Cork. Normally expect a nice pop from these. Not too much, bit of smoke though. Um, nice Lost Abbey cork there. Let's get a glass. We do have a glass. Okay. Now that looks beautiful in the glass. It almost looks like a Belgian blonde in the style of beer. It's a small one finger head. It's an Abbey beer, so I imagine it is probably styled on a Belgian beer. Nice levels of carbonation. I've not read the bottle. I like to go into the reviews blind. There's the Lost Abbey cage, if you're interested. Uh, let's get a nose on this beer then. Wow. Just sugared candy. Oh, it's, it's really kind of lemony and spicy. A slight mustiness in there, but I think it's meant to be there. It's, 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 um, it's not meant to be, it's, it's meant to be musty. It's not kind of put there by accident. It does smell like a really good Belgian blonde ale. Uh, as I said, it's, it's blonde looking. Nice and clear, the clarity. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Oh. Oh yeah, that is good. That is such a good beer. Now, I've been drinking quite a few of, of authentic Belgian beers up in the, the cupboard there. Been sent a big parcel of beer from a big Belgian online beer shop. And I've been going through a few blonde beers. And it's great to, or just the other day, so it's great to have a comparison to um, what the Americans think um, a, a Belgian beer should taste like. And, and um, almost put it together. And they've done a good job. They've done a real good job with this. Spice on the nose, it's lemony. It's nicely carbonated on the tongue. It's always important with these beers that they, especially these Belgian blonde ales, it's it's kind of fizzing on your tongue. That's the characteristic for me, and it does do that. Other than that, it's got that marmalade orange, kind of orange peel, orange marmalade fleshy orange taste, maybe blood orange as well. This lemon, it's like a lemon sherbet in your mouth. Very, very well kind of made beer this. And at 6.25% ABV, it's that kind of, what the Belgians think is a sessionable kind of ale. Um, yeah. So bang on for ABV, bang on for style, bang on for look. Um, I'm so this this beer was bought for me for my wife uh, as a present. So I'm glad she got it for me. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this beer. <laughs> Pardon me. There's that there's that kind of Belgium characteristic that very kind of fizzy beer. It doesn't. It's not kind of fizzing away massively in the glass. There's carbonation, but as soon as it hits your mouth, it's, it kind of 
Hey, she's on your tongue. Mmm. It's so it's so drinkable. It's so refreshing. It's sliding down like it's it's almost there's an element of wheat in there as well. It's almost a wheaty kind of malty sweet malt flavour. Cracking, cracking. I am going to finish this off in a moment, but I want to another big description on the back of this bottle. The it's www.lostabbey.com. Now I have heard of this Lost Abbey, um, but you guys in America, you'll know this more than me. Put your comments in the comment box. I've had a few of the Port Bruin beers. This is brewed at Port Bruin. Brewed and bottled by Port Bruin Company, San Marco in California. Now, is this a, a range of... Um, Port Bruins beers or is this contract brewed? Is, is Lost Abbey a separate company that pays Port Bruin? It's very unusual that they would place that on the front of the label. So I'm more inclined to say that it is actually owned altogether by the Port Bruin company and this is this Lost Abbey is just a kind of style of or kind of this special range if you like of beers because um, they've gone out and put their own website on there at the back as well. Um, I'm not going to be able to collect the 10 cents redemption on this um, on this bottle because we're over here in Wales. Um, it's a big kind of story on the back of here. You can pause the video and uh, watch it if you like. Or read it if you like, should I say. There you go. Hope it's uh, focused for you. Terrible trouble with the camera, it's barely working. Okay. Devotion Ale by the Lost Abbey. I like it. I like it a really, really I like it a lot. Really like it. I'm really getting into my Belgian beers. It's taken me quite a while to get through all of the kind of spiciness and everything else that goes on with the Belgian beer. Um, great characteristics to this one. I'm the more I try Belgian beer, the more I'm enjoying it, the more I'm kind of looking for it, if you like. So when my wife said, do you, do you want this beer? I said, well, love to try something from the Lost Abbey. It looks like a Belgian beer. Um, let's get this one in. So, cheers to the wife. Final thoughts on a rating from me. Really, really like that yeastiness as well. I've missed that whole point of the the yeastiness in the beer. It's um, it's a Belgian yeast. It's it's so kind of it's not in your face, but it's so prominent in the beer. The flavour. A lot of the flavours coming from a Belgian yeast. You must have got a Belgian yeast strain over there in uh, in California in America. Um, I'm loving this, loving it. I cannot wait. I think I'm going to take this away now and um, go and enjoy the rest. But all oh, the lemon, the orange, the spicy notes. Ah, they, 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 even like hints, of, small hints of cinnamon, nutmeg. It's, it's just, it's just so kind of wow. Banana. For me, this gets a nine out of ten. It's a nine out of ten beer from the Real Ale Guide. Um, thanks for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.